a quick little tutorial here about um, manipulating objects. So we can use any of these buttons here in the poly modeling tools to create an object. Let's create a sphere. What we're going to do now is tap the space bar. Tapping the space bar lets you switch between different viewpoints. Sometimes you want to see the top view, sometimes you want to see the front, sometimes you want to see perspective. Just move your mouse over any one of these four views and tap your space bar and you'll be able to snap into them. When you're in your main view, hold down your option key and then you use your left, right or middle mouse buttons to either rotate your view, that's the left mouse button, right mouse button to zoom in or out, you can also use your scroll wheel on your mouse, and your middle mouse button to move around. So that's just holding down your alt or option key and then using those left, right or middle mouse buttons. Okay, so we've got our sphere there. We want to move our sphere around into a different place in the world. How do we do that? Use your move, rotate or scale buttons to do these different things. The selection button is also really important and we use that to just select different objects. Select an object by clicking on it, deselect it by clicking off it. Select an object, then move it, click on the move button. The W, E and R keys represent the move, rotate and scale keys. So keep your fingers over the W, E and R keys and you can easily switch between moving, rotating or scaling an object. For an added benefit, press the Q key to go back to your selection tool. When you've got an object and you want to move it, press your W key and then you can either grab it directly by clicking in the center or you can move it along one axis or another axis or a third axis. Use your command Z key to undo any movement. If you want to move it on two axes at once but ignore a third one, then use these little squares. If you want to move it on the um, Z axis and the X axis and ignore the Y axis, then click this square here and you can see we're moving it around on the plane but we're not able to move it up and down at all. Similarly, we can do the same thing with these other two dimensions as well. When you're moving an object around, sometimes you want it to snap to the grid. So, if we want it to do that, it's easiest to see if we go to a side view, press your space bar, move your mouse over side view, press your space bar again. To move it snapping to the grid, we can either click on this button up here, which is snap to grid, or we can hold down the X key and you'll notice that when you hold down the X key, that button gets highlighted. Hold down your X key, and while your X key is held down, click and drag your object, and you'll notice it snaps to the grid. If you want snapping to occur with rotation, you need to hold down your J key instead, and this will cause your object to snap to 15 degree increments.